Equinox. Buck Jeff. Yeah. We, well, we're about to blow them out of the water once we get sauna to steam rooms. Oh, are you really? Yeah. Not this specific one, but when we open them more, we will for sure. Uh, we're looking at Austin. Uh, there's one in Inglewood that's going to open. Yeah. And San Jose. So. Steam room, that's lit. It's on a steam room, full like locker room, because we just didn't have enough size when we first got the spot. Who next door literally said to me, this, I'm, I'm gonna show you the text. Uh, we'd be interested in taking half of my space to expand your gym. The only thing, uh, we moved to basically open up the wall. I, yeah. Secret though, true story, I want the whole thing. Yeah. I want the whole thing. You wouldn't give me the whole thing? I know, I mean, if he has to get rid of it. This shit is already like this shit, like for real, for real. Like, not, I'm not even just saying it for camera, like for real. Like, I, I've been to Equinox, all the fucking best gyms. And, like, this is like that old school. Like, yeah. I feel like I'm gonna run into Arnold, like working out here. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like, you know what I mean? Yeah, dog. Yo, I, I, I appreciate you, though. Yeah. Thank you, man. overloading the extension portion of the lift. So, obviously like, you know guys, you put on your heaviest weight, it's always easier to carry the weight down. The eccentric, the loading phase, the going like this. Lowering the weight, controlling the weight down is normally the easier part. Pressing the weight back up is harder. Okay, so, basically what you're doing is you're utilizing, I mean I did a little extra, I have like a thick bar, it's a little harder, but you're utilizing the added weight here, that once it gets to the 
to the point where I feel a release. Now the weight's sitting on the floor and you're down, you know, this is like 20, maybe 25 pounds or something like that. So then immediately after feeling the heavier weight, going to feeling the lighter weight, you feel almost like stronger, you feel invigorated, so you kind of like bang it out, you know? At least that's how I feel. This is the, listen, this is the smart way to put weights back. I learned this, I learned this when I was about uh, 27, okay? 27, rolling the weights. But prior to that, it was- 27? Just, yeah, exactly. What? I was always trying to do extra work, and then you realize like, it's, just, it's not a good position to do it from, but I'll show you with the hunters what I normally, what I did up until 27, okay? Roll it on. Roll it. Two-handed. And use your legs, right? This is the dumb one. Oh, you have to hit a set before you put it on? Yeah, carry it, try to shrug it. Probably see. Oh boy, okay, all right. Okay. That's the dumb one. We need yes. you around. Let's protect the hips, protect the lower back. Use your whole body. Lift it like a deadlift. Dude, they say something about an influence spike after you work out. Is it cool to eat sweets after you work out? Or you, you really love the dirt? I mean, it's just, I just want to have a certain amount that you can kind of limit it to. But you also want to probably couple it with like protein. I eat like that all the time. That's so yeah. I just eat the other stuff first. Just have that at the end. I just, I just love sweets so much. Bro, yeah. me too. Like, yo, every. Oh. Did you ever go to Equinox in West Hollywood? Yeah. Okay, you know, remember, it's not there anymore. Like, there was a, uh, the cafe. The cafe, I used to get like the fat, like, uh, red velvet. I did exactly what you said, and then the red velvet cake, at, like, every day. I swear to God, I got, I got out of the gym last night, I went to Crave, I literally got red velvet cake after my it's sandwich. so workout. fire. And every day, I would, whenever I go to that gym, because it was like bougie-ass West Hollywood, that is a little bougie cafe that was like super fucking overpriced. But I would still be like, I'm getting that fucking cake. I'm getting, it was like brown rice, salmon, like a little salad thing, like really good, healthy, and then like this filthy red velvet cake. Amazing, fucking incredible.